Welcome back, it's Sam here, and thank you for watching this video. Today we're going to be talking about the current situation and coronavirus and how it's put businesses online. Now, many businesses previously have run on high streets, have been people dependent, but now, considering what's happened with the coronavirus, this isn't possible. We're going to look today at alternatives for these businesses, the best websites, what they should do to start up, and all together how to get their business online and start getting sales again okay here we go so the first website i'm going to be talking about today is shopify now they are a great website for startup businesses there's no coding required there's no uh previous knowledge required all you need to know is how to use a laptop you need to know the basics of a laptop really and that's it at the moment they have a 90 day free trial uh, previously it was 14 days whereas because of the coronavirus they're now doing a 90 day free trial which would make sure to hop on now in the actual app itself uh, everything is free in that 90 days there's some apps you might need to download however i'd say they're not really necessary you can if you if you feel you really need them uh yeah i'd buy them but uh, overall, I think it's a free website that is really good. Now, one thing you may need to buy uh, to make the website look more professional is the domain. Now, a domain normally costs around 15 to $20 a year, so it's quite cheap. And for a business, uh, this is quite a good price and it will help you get back online. Uh, everything's included in your package. You don't need to do any extras. You don't... If you... If you really are struggling, you can pay somebody on something like Fiverr or Ups, Upwork uh, to build the website for you. And that will probably be around 200 bucks for a very professional website. However, I'd, I'd uh, say just go onto YouTube, watch some videos, maybe a couple of hours. It will save you some money and just make the website yourself because then you can make it how you want. You can design it to your personal preferences and you can make it look as good as you feel it needs to be and as professional as possible. Okay, now the second website I'd recommend is Wix.com. Now Wix.com is a great website, especially because it's so simple. You do not need any skills. It does not take any coding and it is really, really, really simple to use. No uh, prior knowledge needed, so you are all set up. Now, it's not as, it probably won't create such a professional website as Shopify, but if you really, really struggle with Shopify and struggle with getting used to it, I'd say go on to Wix because you will get a more, you'll get a professional website. Yeah, it won't be as complicated and it might not look as professional. However, it will still do the trick. You'll still get traffic if you're, if your uh, product's good, uh, you'll still get sales and most importantly, you will make some money uh, and get your business online, hopefully. Now, also with this, you need to buy a domain. Uh, I'd say the best domain buying service would be godaddy.com and then you can import it onto there. Obviously, you could also go and go to Fiverr, Upwork, uh, get people to build it. However, I'd say just watch some tutorials on YouTube Get yourself focused and build this website so you can have it as you want it. Uh, yeah, so you can build the best website possible. Okay, the third and final website is Squarespace. Now, you may be seeing Squarespace adverts on YouTube quite a lot. They advertise a lot and they are a very, very good site. Very, very similar to Wix. However, they are, for more, they are more American uh, and they work better in the US and Canada, etc. Uh, they are really great sites. They're free as well. You can upgrade uh, if you want better, better stuff. However, I'd say if you're starting up, you probably don't need it. Uh, once again, you will have to buy a domain for this. Like all three, you have to buy a domain um, to make your website look the most professional and trustworthy. Also, one thing I haven't mentioned in this is uh, you definitely want to create, if you haven't already, a Facebook page, an Instagram page to make your website look the most trustworthy possible. Uh, to advertise, I'd say use Facebook ads, Instagram shout outs, depending on the age and audience you're looking at. Uh, overall, though, I'd say Squarespace is a really, really professional website builder. It can create really good websites. You can make yourself plenty of tutorials on YouTube. Uh, 
yeah it's a really really good website now today i'm gonna link all of the websites down below and you can try them out yourself okay thank you for watching bye